We search for an existing catalog record or create a new catalog record in the catalog and then go to the stock options screen. On the stock options screen there are flags for items and for instance orders. Starting on the orders tab there are two different ways to create orders in Libero. One is the short order that you see already displayed on the screen. The other one is the big order that I will come back to later on. To enter data on the short order screen you can use various methods. You can either enter data manually or you can as well recall defaults that have been set on the defaults screen. There are default values for orders as well as default values for items which, will, which we will use later on. Please keep in mind that all the values that you see listed in the drop-down boxes are not predefined in Libero but come out of the parameters that each library can set according to its own needs. We go back to the orders tab and recall the default values. We add everything that has not been entered yet and if necessary we might also change certain information. The date ordered, you see this is a capital T and the capital T works in Libero in most places and it is replaced with the um, current date uh, once the record is actually processed. When you have entered all the required information you can add the order. What you see now is that for each copy that has been ordered Libero creates a single line down here in the grid. If you don't know the supplier code, you may always open the supplier search screen that allows you to search for a supplier by name key, by code or by free text. Just enter your search term, click on the binocular button or the enter key and then the results will be displayed in a grid and with a double click you can overtake this into your supplier field on the orders screen. It is also possible to order several copies for different branches in one order process. Fill in all order fields as usually and then use the branch allocation. Set up the branch allocation by using a sequence number, a library location, a fund cost center for that location and the quantity you want to order for that specific location. Now we set up the second branch, which should be the Institute for Natural Sciences. We use a different fund cost center and we change the quantity. And if we have set up the branch allocation, we can now add the order. And we see that Libero added additional order lines in the grid and that two of the order lines are for the central library and one is for the Institute of Natural Sciences. If a library requires more detailed information in connection to their orders, they can use the big order screen. For the big order screen, you can either use and fill in the data fields manually or, as with the other orders as well, you can load default values that can be set up on a separate screen in the orders a separate screen in the orders, a separate screen in the orders section. There are m many more informations on that screen in comparison to the short orders. The branch allocation works in the same way as it does with the short orders, but there are lots of additional fields that can be used. For instance, the initiator field, the source field, where did you get the order information from, the supplier title code field, notes fields for a single order line, notes that can be published to the supplier and internal notes, notes for the complete order, means all copies of that specific title, you can enter notes coming from the supplier and notes to be displayed, maybe in case the uh, shipping of the copies will be delayed. There are title notes from supplier and also for display in Webopack available. On the big order screen you can also work with different currency. 
Select a currency code that has been set up in the parameters and insert the foreign value. And by tapping out of the field, the system will recalculate the foreign value into your own standard currency. You can split the fund allocation across several fund cost centers. To do so, you select the relevant fund cost centers from the drop-down box and enter a percentage to which the uh, allocation should be fulfilled. After doing so, you click on the Split Allocation Amount button and all the amounts will be adjusted accordingly. You can sp select specific order types if required, adjust the collection if necessary, select one of your parameterized acquisition types, and make sure that you adjust the order status. For orders that still have to be processed, this must be ready for processing. In the parameters, you can lay down several dispatch methods for your orders, and one of them could, for instance, be dispatch via email. Same thing happens for claim codes. Set them up in the parameters and select the relevant claim dispatch method as well. When you've done all that, you can, of course, add the new order line. And once again, Libero created a new line in the grid for the orders. We see the foreign currency code, we see the foreign value, and we see that this order is ready for processing. If we now return from the Orders tab to the Stock Maintenance screen, we see in the preview the creation and save date for the record. We see that there are marked details for it, and we have 12 orders, but no holdings yet means no take delivery up to now. To produce and dispatch the orders that we have created, we have to use the Libero Manager module. There is a Processes option which allows us order printing. We can select if we want to create just our own orders or if we want to create our colleagues' orders as well. I decide to just produce my own orders and start the Create order table process. The background process is started and the results can be seen in the manager log file. We see that the order created, um, there was 97 orders overall with a total value of this sum. The order printing process added the relevant information to a separate SQL table in the Libero database, and we recommend that this SQL table is then processed with crystal reports to produce proper order sheets that can be sent to the supplier via email or via regular mail afterwards. This is the raw format of a crystal report. You can either use predefined crystal reports from the Libero installation CD and maybe adjust these in terms of logos and address information or you can com create completely new reports completely according to your own requirements. When you update one of the raw formats we will then end up with the appropriate order information inserted into the form. To be dispatched, the order forms can then be either printed or, if you want to, they can also be exported to other applications, for instance, mail servers, fax servers, or what else. After you made sure that all your orders have been properly dispatched, you go back to the Libero Manager module and update the SQL table for the order printing. I select the same user as I did before and now update my order table. I'm sure that I want to start the process and can follow results in the Libero Manager log file again. Order update started and completed. The update of the order table has consequences for the order record itself. We go back to the order record now and see that the status has been changed from ready for processing to P for actually 